1943, Corning invented a titanium silicate glass called ULE, or ultra low expansion glass, that would go on to reshape our view of the galaxy and push the limits of Moore's law. And over the past several decades, we've continued to enhance this unique material. It's a classic example of Corning innovation. Products at Corning tend to come full circle, so they may have had a use in the past, uh, but we continue to maintain both the, the material and market expertise such that as new applications are identified, we can take something, something old, something that we've used for a very long time, and, and breathe new life into it. I think probably the most interesting thing about ULE for me is the fact that it is the most stable material in the world. ULE, it turns out, is ideal for the harsh environments of space because of its extreme temperature stability. Corning has supplied NASA with custom optical components for the Hubble, Gemini, and Subaru telescopes. These large telescopes have made millions of observations, capturing images looking from the ground into space or from space looking into deeper space. The Hubble telescope has captured the farthest view into the universe yet, allowing scientists to see more than 13 billion light years away. We need the low expansion material because in space, the huge temperature differential will make the mirror expand or contract, and that relates to distortion in the optical system. With a zero expansion material such as ULE, the material does not move with these temperature excursions. Because of these superior characteristics, ULE is now being used in new applications beyond just astronomy purposes. Those same superior material characteristics that make ULE ideal for space are needed in the next frontier of semiconductor chip manufacturing. Glasses have been used in the lithography industry for many years to print integrated circuits. And those integrated circuits are required to go to smaller and smaller sizes to be able to produce faster chips, lower cost chips, and chips that consume less energy. The manufacturing technology that makes this possible is referred to as extreme ultraviolet lithography, or EUV. Right now, with uh, the semiconductor needing extreme ultraviolet glass, uh, the growth curve is going to be exponential from what it's been historically. It's uh, amazing the kinds of things that people are finding for these, uh, for the materials that we make. And who knows what the world's going to bring going forward with that, so it's exciting. So the evolution of ULE as a, as a product over time is a classic Corning story that gets repeated over and over again. And it is most exciting to me that as we look to the future technologies where uh, large data, where Internet of Things, where autonomous driving become a key future trend uh, around the world, Corning takes material and uses it to enable all of those different technologies.